Hello and welcome to another scripting Ghidra video. In this one we'll be talking about XREF and how we can automate them through Ghidra API. And the reason for talking about this was one of the challenges during DICE CTF, which was called Lost in Your Eyes. I just briefly looked at it and it seems like to be some kind of VM, custom VM machine, but it had a unique opportunity to actually play with XREF and Ghidra API. So I thought I will use it as a source for this video. So in this challenge, we had a method that was actually executing those instructions and it was using a, a table with offsets uh, basically to the methods that will handle each specific command. And that's uh, more or less usually how it's done. In this challenge, it was done as, a, yeah, as I said, offset. There was a table which I called functions and it was displayed by Ghidra as a bunch of bytes because Ghidra wasn't been able to correctly identify that those are the offsets and those should be used to calculate the address of the functions that will be executed. So of course, we could analyze like that without processing, but of course it would be easier if we would actually see a method here uh, that actually this is this offset is pointing to. So of course we could do it manually by uh, instructing Ghidra to, to change how it displays those bytes and we can do it now. So basically what we would have to do would change this to D word. So we'll have an offset and it's like a, minus something and of course to calculate the correct address we would have to add the function address so 10 20 40 with this offset and we'll get an address of the function which is here we would have to just cut the first one so that would be the address of the function and having that we could use the reference menu to add a memory reference to the function. So 10, 14, 6, F. And basically we can see, okay, this is the method that sets the result to zero uh, as I already have those methods uh, named. But of course we would have to do it for all those functions that are defined here. And there are maybe not that many, but of course we could uh, automate this. So we don't have to do it by hand. So let's just reverse those changes that we did and let's see how we can do it using Kidra API. So I have a short program here that actually does that. And basically what we'll be using is this reference manager, which we can get from the current program. And if you haven't watched previous videos, current program is this flat program API, which we can use to, yeah, to get access to probably all of the features that Kidra S, of course from from python so when we have this xref we yeah, assign some variables so basically the start address and the current address which basically we use this current address which is the address of where we are in the listening so basically if i press here will the current address will be having this this address of course we would like to have it at the beginning of the function when we run this script uh, but more or less you get the idea so basically we can uh, in this way we can make this script uh, not having any hard-coded addresses uh, as it's being more useful this way and then we create a d word so basically we are executing this uh, change data type function because if we don't do that and we create a reference only the first byte would be pointing to the reference uh, of the function. And of course, we don't want to do that. We want to have all four bytes because all four basically are used to calculate the, the value of the offset that is used to point to the function. Okay, so we change those, those four bytes to uh, one D word. Then we get those bytes, four bytes, and we unpack it as, a, yeah, as an integer. And if it's zero, then we break. So basically if we reach the end of this structure, 
usually there's like a zeros uh, at the end we will just break it but of course if there would be a bit different exit condition in in your program we would have to change uh, those two lines and then we calculate the actual address of the function so we have the functions so the start uh, address which in this case is the same as the one that is selected so maybe yeah here might be a bit different uh, in case of uh, different programs maybe this one would have to be somehow obtained a bit differently but nonetheless in this we get the address of the first uh, entry in the in the table by start address and we add with wrapping the value of v and of course uh, the, as the main uh, function of this uh, short script is to add a memory reference we add an address from which we are adding a reference destination so that would be the function that we are pointing to uh, and we pass some additional enum values like the, the reference type is data and the, the source is like user defined and this is index if we have like multiple references we can point out at what index our reference will be added but i guess most cases it will be a zero and then what we do we just uh, yeah, add four bytes so we move to another entry in this table and basically do over again and uh, basically the same steps until we reach the end as i mentioned before so this is just a short script but actually it yeah simplifies and uh, does a lot of work we can actually uh, see how it works i have the script here and of course if i run it i have the selection where i want to start and just run the script the script will run and we see all the offsets were converted with the now it, they are displayed nicely with the function that they are pointing to and of course we can just uh, double click and get to the function that actually this offset was representing yeah so that's uh, how we can script cross references yeah i hope you like this video and uh, yeah if so please like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye